if you're wondering why I looked that up, just because I want to know for like DMing five E and stuff at certain points. Okay, who is the dragon god of Chibi? Uh, I mean, like, Bahamut is the good dragon god. Tiamat is the evil one. So what's the Chibi one? I don't know. Mushu. <laughs> Can we just you know, the god of the uh, the D and D god of anime just be dishonor on you, dishonor on your family, dishonor on your cow. <laughs> okay, Can you brought just, him like, up. The D and D uh, god of any animation just be Uncle Iroh from uh, Last at the Last Airbender. You know, Zuko. <laughs> don't drink tea because it tastes good. You drink it because it is good for you. Anybody's passive perception above 12? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, hmm. A little bit. Just a little bit. You see nope. three giant weasels. Uh, is it... Oh, here's a question. Is it light out? Uh, you're traveling still, so yes. Okay. Which means that technically, uh, Keptig can't see diddly squat. These are not giant weasels. These are regular sized weasels. Well, apparently yeah, that's really annoying. Whatever. Hmm? Apparently, for um, uh, passive checks, you give them uh, just five to the uh, passive check if they have advantage, and minus five if they have disadvantage. Oh, they still wouldn't have noticed them. <laughs> He's got a nine. Nine. Yeah. Are those the giant weasels? Yeah, they don't have giant weasels, so they only have regular sized weasels. Alright. Which, you know, judging by the size compared to most players' icons on this, it's actually about the right size. Uh, let's put them... That's more than one move, I think. But they're trying to sneak up on us, right? Well, I I rolled that just because they're in their natural environment, not because they're actually sneaking. <laughs> um, I'm sure that they have some sort of sneak modifier that I don't know about because I didn't write that down. <laughs> yeah, by meaning like in terms of like the game, they were trying to sneak up on our game. Sure. And then I see. Yeah, or you see them or approaching. Or I suppose I shouldn't have added decks. I should have just... Yeah. I yell out, uh, well, I cast uh, Chill Touch at the front two. Okay. And cool. yell out Weasels. So, is there a save for that? Uh, no, I make a ranged attack. Okay. Oh, it's a attack. All right. Go ahead and roll it. Which... I need to add to, like, my thing. Oh, yeah. I took point. some time and put all of Keftig's spells in. And then after that, we'll be doing initiative, because we're starting the battle. It says 21 hit. I Whoa. sure hope so. <laughs> no, that, that's a yes. They have a passive AC of 30. <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible. They have a passive we AC leave. of 22. We leave. Yes, that hits. Uh, okay. So, I forgot what we said last time, but because of my cleric thing, uh, Reaper, normally a cantrip that targets one can target two uh, within range and within five feet of each other. You roll again for the second target for the uh, AC. I figured that was it, but I wanted to double check. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know so if I rule, right... ruled that. That's a nat 20. To... Okay. Yeah. So What's the, the damage right on that? It's D8. So, okay. Uh, just going from left to right because that's wrong. So the left one takes a D8, the right one takes two D8. Yes. And it's a product in case any of that matters. They're, they're regular things. I don't think it matters. So uh, first one takes four. The second one takes three because I rolled terrible. <laughs> oh, I was really thinking you were going to kill that one. Yeah, so it's like this giant... Hat, like Raven's Talon of Ice that just lightly taps it. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see here. So, oh, You've that's the wrong by death. There we go. Turn order. So, yeah, the death boop. 
Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this here. Select my dude and then click on <laughs> initiative. Okay. Oh, dang it. And then... I was so surprised by my terrible roll. My terrible damage how do I that... Add to... I'm going... I'm reacting slower. Add turn, okay. And then... I'll just have to roll a d20 plus their dex. Okay. What? It goes yesterday. It gets out of the DeLorean and backstabs you. <laughs> um, how far do these guys move? Oh. What do you think? Um, I meant to have them further back than that, but because of the way that I had them and how close to the edge of the map I was. Um, well, you did shoot at them too, so I guess whatever. Yeah, I, well, I, like, Talon them with my chili touch. I don't know if they can actually tell it came from you, but... Well, I, like, raised my hand and it occurred, so... But you are the closest. So, two of these guys can hit you. Alright. Uh, I did not put down what their attack, roll, or damage were, because... Gave me... But I should be able to get back to them easily, because this saved my position... Bite. Okay. Is that above your AC? Yes. Yeah. And then the damage just is a just a little bit. Here, I'll I'll roll that for both of them first, and then I'll do joint damage, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> These guys these guys. So, I'll just do it together. 2d4 plus 6. This is 24 plus 6. That is not what I meant to do. 2d4 <laughs> plus 6. Dead. Uh, I'm unconscious. I was gonna say, he's probably gonna be unconscious anyways. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming my uh, handle animal thing didn't work from earlier. Uh, well, one... You didn't see them until they got until they atta until he attacked. So Fair. that started combat. And two, okay. what was it? <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. I can roll again if you'd like. Uh, well, I just don't know. Th they're aggressive now, so I don't think it's gonna work. Okay. I usually let you do that, and then it just destroys the combat. So. <laughs> but it's your turn. Perfect. Uh, well, I obviously can... Oh, come on, let me... There we go. No, let me grab my guy. Why can't I grab him? There we go. Let me select the hand. Uh, no, what the heck? Okay, let me try just pushing. Nope. Uh, I don't settings. Boing. Advance. No, that's not it. You should be able to move this. Controlled by, determined by yep, character apparently. settings. Um, I can't even select it. You can't select the bunny. Nope. There we go. You good? Uh, yes. Now let me see if I can... Uh, there we go. Yes! Perfect. I shall stand over your body and defend it until we die. Um. So... Don't you get knocked out every combat? Yeah, pretty much. I am a level one cleric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're also the one that attacks first every time, so... Well, I'm gonna just attack this puppy right in front of me. Um, I'd like to do like an intim intimidating yell to see if I can scare them off. Would I do that first? Uh, do you have an ability that gives that? No, I just have intimidation. Then it'd be an oh. action because you don't have okay. something that says that it's bonus. Apparently, animal handling is different in 5e. At oh, least by it is? 
Uh, it's used oh. to calm a domesticated animal, keep him out from getting spooked, or intuitively predict an, an animal's intentions. Hmm. Oh. Well, we don't need okay. any of those Perfect. things here. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so you can't well, tame an animal ahead. with it? Not in the raw, anyways. Not in the raw, anyways. Which I assume is odd, because how would you go about taming anything of them? But... I'm sure there's taming rules somewhere. You would think. I'm not going to say they're official, but I'm sure they're somewhere. Uh, did you rage? I did. I dropped my rage. Okay, I saw the bar move. <laughs> bar. Uh, smacky, smacky. So that hits, so click on two battle axe. In the chat. There you go. There we go. Why is it going to... Oh, are you using two weapons? Yes, yeah, I'm using two weapons. Okay, uh... The first Actually, one... I... Yeah. Kills it. I think I get a negative two to the roll on um, the second one if I don't have two weapon fighting, which I don't. Okay. Um, well, so it'd be 19. Let me see if I can edit that. Well, it'd be 22 because you rolled with advantage. Okay. I think. Yeah, this says advantage. That's why that one's grayed out. I think. Okay, um. Well, your second attack can go to the other weasel. Do I get two attacks on my um, first level? I think I only get one. Well, if you're using two weapons. Uh, uh, when you take the attack action and you can attack... I'm looking this up since I'm unconscious anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you take the attack action and attack with a light melee weapon that you're holding in one hand, you can use a bonus action to attack with a different light melee weapon that you're holding in the other hand. I Our believe battle axes. Are they light? I think I they are. Axes are. I don't. Oh, battle, battle axes. axes. Yeah, if they're not yeah. hand axes, they're not light. Yeah, and I'm not sure if they're battle or, or hand. It's just whatever I come with. Uh, hand axes, then. I don't think you get battle axes. <laughs> Those are two hand handed. Axe, no. Battle axes are two handed, aren't they? Uh, player's handbook. Yeah, because I think um, regular axes are just like D8s. Well, I mean, there's hand axes and then there's other types of axes, but there's nothing that's just a regular axe. Mm. Yeah, battle axe is a um, one-handed battle axe, because you also have the great axe, which is D12. Okay. Great axe, I'm okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Pretty sure, though, that you don't start with battle axes. I might have bought them. With my starting gold. You're a barbarian, right? Yes. Outlander. Versatile. You can either wield it in one hand or two. If you're using two as a d10 instead of a uh, d8. Yeah. Equipment, it's two hand axes that you start with. So that might have been what you... Yeah, you got hand axes. Which are light weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they are. Yeah, and they're uh, d6, not d8. Bad. My bad. I'm sorry. Uh, let me... Hand... Axes, um, and let me adjust my damages. Yeah, uh, you also do not add your strength modifier to the bonus attack. It was not added. It automatically does not add it. Okay. Which so means that he can get yeah. rolled better on the second one. Okay, so damage is two. So look, just in case you don't kill it, let me take that skull, skull off of it. Okay. Um, 1d6, you said? Yeah, it's a d6. Yeah. We're going to keep the uh, to hit rule because that wasn't affected. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so I don't get my strength modifier on him? On the second one. Gotcha. Let me remove that. Um, okay, there we go. So hand axe is strength, melee, crit range is 20, d6 plus 2 on the first one, slashing d6 on the second one. Um, okay, let me see how that updates. 
You can also throw it, apparently. Yeah. Yes. Uh, hand... 1D... Okay, let me try it this time. Okay, this may or may not be wrong. <laughs> Sadly, you don't get to keep that crit. Uh, That's fine. Plus five, plus two. Be Eleven plus four. So fifteen points of damage. Why is that? Why is there an extra D6? Because it considered... You put the D6 no, under where... I, I have plus 7. Why do I have plus 7? You have plus 5 uh, from your strength, and then plus 2 from proficiency. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, and then well, you put an extra D6 somewhere. I did? Uh, so it's 11, you... which does kill the first one. Oh, I see what you did. You Did you make them both into one attack? Yes. Yeah, but he added the d6 uh, somewhere else that didn't... Uh... Yeah, I have two damage types. No, they're, they're always slashing. Oh, okay, no, so I just I, need to have... Yeah, I'm saying why he has like the additional d6 on the second attack is because since he... Since you've made it into one, it's uh, rolling it as if they were both roll as a crit, because how roll twenty handles advantage. Oh, I see, I see. Because it, oh, okay. it thinks so... it's advantage, but it's actually not, because it's the second one is the. Yeah, yeah. That's why. It... So, if I... but that. If I change it to two d six, no, top no, one and just yeah, no. damage type two. No, don't don't change it. Um, okay. except that you should be getting your proficiency bonus on the offhand, right? I should be, yes. Okay, so that's six damage then. Yeah. Um, I don't know how you fix that. But, uh, I'm assuming you're hitting the only other weasel you can in range. Uh, yeah. With that, that second attack, which kills that one too. There we go, I fixed the proficiency bonus. Okay, cool. Then, oh. mm, unless you want to move, because you oh, still no, have movement. Right here. You could move forward because those two are dead if you wanted to. Um, let me recap. And you can also move oh, anywhere without having to disengage because you're not actually within the square. Well, I was right here, so one, two. Uh, I also should have asked where you guys were before I put the weasels on the thing. <laughs> I was right there. Yeah. yeah, I will move one forward and then end my turn. Okay. Oh, apparently, so... though, there is a feat that lets you do wield one handed melee weapons even if they aren't light. <laughs> well, of <laughs> course that feat towards. exists. You know everybody wants to do it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I want to know should I cast a spell or should I come in with my sword? I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these adventurers like me. Wisdom's too low Tell for that. More. Do they like me? Ooh, I know what I can do. I want to know why the cleric keeps fainting. I want to know too. <laughs> I wanna know. So let me go over to my spell list here. No, uh, well, I end up moving too far close and they end up just giving me. <laughs> so I'm going to click this because I'm not sure what the range is on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get 4 HP back, Michael. Cool. As I reduce uh, my slots remaining to 1. The healing yeah. word is Bella. I believe bird is the word, actually. <laughs> I believe it's an elven word that I don't have in front of me. Which is, stands for bird. <laughs> Gandalf, 
Actually, it down, might actually be Olani, which is not actually Elvin, it's a name. <laughs> so he, he points at you, which you can't see this anyways, and he says, Olani! And you get four health back. Yay. <laughs> Point at him. No, that is not his name. <laughs> <laughs> that was magic. And he moves here in case he's needed. <laughs> Uh, it's one d four plus is a spell casting ability modifier. Oh, it's plus the. Uh, okay, yeah. you get eight then. Sorry. Ye. Um, Which, I'm not surprised I missed that. I did a whole bunch of spells. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, actually almost fully healed. <laughs> uh, one d four plus. Do I have... Yeah, it doesn't... I'm gonna have to update that every time. <laughs> Anything changes. I'm, I'm the squishy cleric. I don't know why this is so funny. What is my HP? What is your HP? Oh, for... Mine's 11. Oh, you have one more than me. Yeah, level 1. And it's your turn. <laughs> I stand up, which takes half my movement, because I'm I don't want to stay prone. Fair. And I'm going to chillingly uh, touch those two, so like the raven's talons descend. All right. Does a ten hit the left hand one? No. Does a twenty? That one hits. Hit the, yeah. <laughs> Six on the right hand one. You just cannot kill these guys. Actually, you technically couldn't anyways with the D8. Yeah. I can wound them. Yes, you can wound them. Okay. The black bear always triumphs. I'll bite your knees. You are not engaged. Do you wish to move? Uh... If you want to fate me, you should have put a ring on it. And I run 30 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, All can you stop messing with your icons, Alex? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Because <laughs> I have the an power icon. Of Xana compels I'll, I'll just move that over so you're not overlapping that. <laughs> and that's my turn. Alright. <laughs> I get to go again, kind of. Hmm. <laughs> they don't even have to move. I have a wall of gunk. What did I say it was? I did not uh, write it down after looking it up. Six. Does an 11 hit? Nope. Does a 23 hit? Dang it. <laughs> uh, that'll be... it doesn't matter which one. Is it a strength check? Oh, you're just or taking damage. strength attack? Uh, why? Does it matter? Because they get disadvantage on strength checks while I'm raging. That, uh, strength I... check isn't an attack, it's like trying to pick you oh, up. Okay. But yeah, so 23 does hit. 6 damage. Mm. These guys, well, I mean, mm. it's a d4 plus 3, so, you know. Yeah. Relatively high damage considering your level. And then it's Donk's turn. Uh, uh -huh. But if you are raging, it should be halved because it is resistance. halved. Yes, it's uh, oh, slashing because it's claws. Mm -hmm. I also forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so used to actually. Maybe there's an icon I can use for, for uh, yeah. I know. Rage. I'm used to that too from being a bear. Though I want to try the eagle one to just run, like start dashing past people while I'm raging. <laughs> And all you need to do Actually, is Actually, like, yeah, that'll work for Rage. <laughs> well, what you do is you play a Halfling, so if anything's... If it's medium or larger, you can just run through its space. <laughs> well, roll those damages. That first one's a crit. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be fun. And they're dead. 
<laughs> Minus 16 on the first one. It popped. <laughs> and then you did fix that. Wow, you got a nat 6 on that second d6 there that you don't get. Woof. Oh. Yeah, they're both dead. We are the masters of death. I know you can't see the health bars, but the health bars are in the negative. Actually, one of these you actually hit for exact damage. Okay. Somehow. Alright, I need to mark down... Oh, of course I didn't mark down how much... XP those give. Okay. We all participated in some way. Oh yeah, that's better for, uh... That, that fist is better for raging. Yep. I don't know why I didn't see it. Okay. I'm the fist of death. I'll just get rid of mm -hmm. these so they're not there. And then I shall... Yeah, I'll start using the fist. I was trying to figure out what I could use to mark the rage. But yeah, I think I'll stick with that. Either that one or the full body one. Oh. Well, either of them work. But, Perfect. you know, your rage ends because... Nobody's attacking cool. you anymore. It's been around, and nobody's attacked you, and you've attacked nobody. Mm -hmm. right, let me clear off this turn order, so that if for some reason I open it again, I don't think that everybody's already on the turn order. Well, that was interesting. That was fun. Finally, barbarianism <laughs> is paying off. Well, my dad said now I we... shouldn't have gone to barbarian college. I showed him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to Barbarian <laughs> College, I just did it. Well, how are, you supposed to be, how are you supposed to be officially recognized Barbarian? Like, when you go into the town, you submit your thing to, like, the local, uh, like, you know, guards. They're like, where's your official Barbarian documentation? Hand, hands them That's family great. tree? Oh, you're, a li <laughs> like, a literal Barbarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, hands them a physical tree? This is my family tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, they might actually still believe that <laughs> at that uh, point. Well, I mean, that that would actually be great, have a group of barbarians that literally just carry a tree around because it's their literal family tree. <laughs> <in logging around. laughs> That's my weapon, and I carve the names of my family into it. <laughs> Wait, when did you become a giant? It's a, it's a bonsai tree. Did I... Do I have camping rules to find a good campsite? Oh, I was just using the regular travel rules. So it, it's night is falling. So you can either make a nature, a stealth, or a survival roll to find a good campsite. That 21 though. Yes. It's not a nat 20 though, sadly. It's only a 19. This campsite, which is right next to my family tree. That's because you put a tree in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> well, that must be a good camp. So what campsite do you find on the plains? A bluff. Are you bluffing? A flat top. <laughs> I don't know. You, you just find you this fall? kind of cliff thing, and then do you, you sleep? Fall? Where 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 are you sleeping? In my bag. Behind Donk. <laughs> okay, what's the campsite look like other than you found a cliff? Uh, there's a sign that says no random encounters allowed. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. You only got a minus it's five because you didn't get a twenty. Code of conduct. <laughs> so this is a a neutral territory, as in if you engage, you will die. So, we I believe I roll for each. Uh, yeah. So, what's yeah. the watch order? I'll probably take first ship since I don't have dark vision, so I couldn't see at all. Okay, so uh, <laughs> it's either Keftid, Keftig or Alex after that. Uh, Donk. I'll take morning watch. It okay. seems to be when uh, Donk does the best, or any of my barbarians usually. So mm -hmm. Keftig gets the uh, darkness, which is fine, because there's a fire going. Yep. Until we get ion stones, and then nothing will see us. Yeah, good luck yeah, finding I also, those. I also think, oh yeah, it's the Barbarian Totem of Eagle at 6th level. 
removes the disadvantage for dim light, and also lets you see on a normal day up to a mile. Hmm. You, literally, you literally become Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a half orc. Built this night. Okay. But what are your barbarian nights see? I see a roll of a 79 on the first watch. Okay. Yes. Seriously? Okay. Where's my battle encounters? Yes! It's a dragon. I hope not. I didn't roll that bad. I mean, this good, because I'm the DM. Back to the Allosaurus. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Oh, the Allosaurus that almost killed yeah. the party? Yeah. Oh. Uh. 5-5. Five, five. Let's see here. Okay. Which was after, like, I got, like, a bug. I tried to swim past some alligators, and that killed my first <laughs> character because, like, half of them crit on the so, reaction attacks. What do you have when you minus 5 to your perception? 17. You're probably still going <laughs> to see this. You see the darkness encroaching upon you. Let me, let me actually look up these, though. Uh... Which book are these in? As long as it's not a bone devil. In the plains? Yes. They might migrate. <laughs> Cross plains. I mean, you you the had plane. the chance to run into a shadow, which at night you basically can't see. But it's it's only just dim. So, you know, you're still gonna... That's why I asked about the minus five. Yeah. <laughs> you see darkness moving within the darkness. Yeah, I just do the whole fingers to eyes and look back at it. Like, Again. What the heck the perception? <laughs> Didn't we encounter shadows last time we camped? Uh, I don't know. No, you encountered them on the road. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is this not popping up? Okay, what I need to do is I need oh. a multi-class in a row so I can get expertise in my perception, which means I can get add double my proficiency to it. So that way my perception is even higher, so nothing can ever sneak up on us. <laughs> Become the full-blown adventurer paranoia person. <laughs> Something's gonna jump out of me. Something's gonna jump out of me. Move past it. <laughs> oh, they're gone. <laughs> this is in the monster manual. Okay. Uh... Yeah, shades are really, really fun to play. I, uh, I mixed some shades up and uh, gave them sand armor. And uh, basically, I made them like we ripped the shadows from the players. And then what I did is I had the shades uh, combine to be like these grotesque fusions of the classes. Oh my gosh, it was so good! I almost killed the entire party, and they were scared. So, I mean, I'd be. Does stealth get advantage in darkness? The dim light. Uh... Yes, because it's te technically considered three quarters or uh, uh, full coverage, depending on the available light so it'd be three quarters probably in dim light uh doesn't that just let them do it i well a complete mm. darkness does i know that yeah but since it's not complete or magical darkness there's still that percentile that they can be seen and if the perception is high enough which i think is just dm's call i'm pretty sure that you're going to be able to see this anyway did i type that right they... no i did not <clears throat> Uh, do the, uh, shades have no, that anything doesn't... special okay. blowing up? Uh, well, 20, so... <laughs> Which was the first one. I, I, I'm i not... How did I do the KH1 correctly? Is it before the plus 2? I have no yeah. idea. Yeah. I just want to know. Yes, it's before the plus 2. Oh, there we go. 20. That's what it was anyways. Because I didn't know if there's any. Yeah, I didn't know if there's anything that added advantage to stealth or not. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. It... Mm, I'd have so to look. <laughs> I think in that case you would just use the player's perception versus the uh, creature stealth if they have a bonus. Yeah, but it was going to be passive. Well, I mean, are you looking around? You'd, you'd, you'd get a worse roll looking around than passively, most likely. Well, generally with a random encounter, it's just assumed passive perception. Yeah. Um, you are keeping watch at the campsite, but if you want to roll perception, you'll keep the higher of, between that and passive, which... 
I mean, you can still technically beat a 20 if you roll. Oh, well, I'd be rolling at disadvantage. You can still technically beat a 20 at disadvantage, but it's unlikely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's... Ooh. Yeah, you don't see him. You also don't hear anything. <laughs> um, I also need to decide if these are actually hostile or if you, or if they're just moving along. They're hostile. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna move back to this, and I'm gonna. S have you guys move where you want to be as I put the campsite stuff back on. We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we're gonna die as the night consumes us. So, I'm gonna assume that Keftig is in a tent because... <laughs> he's sleeping. Yes, I'm gonna sleep on the fire. <laughs> hey, I said move around where you wanted to be. I'm actually going to put him in the tent instead of at the door. And even if you don't have tents, these are supposed to be your bedrolls if you don't have a tent. Yeah, I, I, at this moment I'd be at the entrance. Yeah. I'll probably actually be like lying halfway under the tree so that way I have quote unquote rain cover. Um, but I always just sleep outside. Yeah, well, I mean, nobody actually has a tent. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if Keftig even has a bedroll. He might just be sleeping on the ground. Aww. He doesn't. He's just sleeping on the ground. Nothing in his pack, huh? No, uh, he's a bard, so he got a scholar pack. <laughs> he had the entertainer background. So neither mm, of the backgrounds had right. a bedroll. Or ne neither of the recommended options had a bedroll. Let's see here. I'm sure that there's got to be a good one for this. So this is not okay, a single so one. This is a swarm. So don't freak out when there's a giant bat. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was thinking about the you know the Afro Circus. Da, 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 Afro Circus. So you don't notice them until they're you... in the bright light of the fire, which is how far away? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna sixty, I think. Sixty? That no, that be huh. that that's dim light at that point. Oh yeah, no, that'd probably be like thirty. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, put it at thirty. It's two more away. I, w I was actually thinking twenty, but thirty makes just as much sense. The torch is like ten, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. And this is uh, probably not to scale, but that's a big fire pit, so... Mm -hmm. There is a swarm of bats. Which, uh... Yeah. yeah. Right. Which you don't notice, technically, so I... Um, I think I'll have them move. What's their movement? And then we'll start stuff. Because you don't see them until they actually enter the area. Oh, they fly like right up to the fire. And then you notice them. Or you notice them flying up to the fire. What do you do? Uh, I cry out. Uh, alright. Would that. I'm gonna assume that people within 20 feet of you are just gonna wake up if you cry out. Yeah, I don't want to try risking staying asleep this entire time. So, however, we are prone. <laughs> so, and we don't, too hard. and we do not have our armor on because we were sleeping. That's okay. My armor class is natural because I'm not wearing armor. Well, because you're. Uh... Keftig is not wearing his leather armor, but he has leather skin, but that doesn't affect things because he's a PC. <laughs> <laughs> so he his stuff went down a little bit. 
Also, we don't have our spell slots or rage returned, so... Good thing I uh, didn't yeah. use any of my spells. Yeah. Oh yes, initiative as well. Man, I rolled the exact same as last time. Damn. Yeah. Uh, what this swarm get for, uh... It's just their decks, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Well, I was seeing if there was any ability. Put the correct decks in. What is this? <laughs> Every time. You guys cannot catch a break. Nope. Uh, I believe talking is a free action, by the way, if you want to actually make an action. Real quick. Ah, uh, yes. Oops, wrong button. I will. Resistances. Okay, your spell won't have any problems if it's the same one as before. Well, I am going to be uh, using a first level spell. Okay. And it's going to be a uh, guiding bolt. And it's going to be a spell attack, so no save. Okay. Don't mind the uh, 5d8 I just rolled. Uh, does 23 hit it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. Alright. It takes 11 yes. points of radiant damage. Um, radiant does not matter, okay. And the next attack... It glows the and third. proficient and, and uh, advantage. Yeah, the next attack is advantage. What color is it glowing? Uh, probably like uh, an ethereal kind of blue. Okay. And then obviously it rolled a, tw a you know, twenty-one total there, so it's its turn. Mm -hmm. You guiding bolted it, and you're the only one that's yeah. yeah. I'm trying to well, think how it would attack someone it's... other than you. GG. Yeah, it just, though it just seems uh, darkness lets it stealth. Oh, it just straight up. Uh, there is a feat, though, that you can hide while lightly obscured. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Crouch. Must have been the wind. So you probably hmm. technically could have seen it in the dim light. Ah, I was meaning for future stuff. Because I was wondering, because I'm like, can I do that with a rogue and be kind of, ch and just skulker and snipe people? What is this uh, yes. attack here? Because uh, skulker, when you're hidden from a creature and miss it with a range of the weapon attack, making the attack doesn't reveal your position. Mm-hmm. Yep, one of my rogues has that right now. And also a cloak of invisibility. Ah. Uh, never... Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, it reduces they the damage if, money if there's it. less... Okay. That misses. I'm not going to even ask. Mm -hmm. And then it's Keftig's turn. And we want to finish this thing off. So he uses half his movement to stand up. And then walks out of the tent. <laughs> what spells does he have? <clears throat> I might as well use a spell slot if I can, because we're going to get him back. That makes me wonder if you could hit someone already invisible with fairy fire. Oh, fairy yes. fire? You can. It's it's you get disadvantage on hitting things that are invisible. But you have to know that something's somewhere. Yeah, you have to know the approximate location. Uh, actually, the only thing that I have that can deal damage is my cantrip. Let me check the range on this thing. Five feet. So if half uh, my okay. movement. Okay, and then oh yeah, I, I'm standing next to the fire pit, not on it. <laughs> sure. You see, see that half part of the upper right hand square? That's where he's standing. <laughs> or 
Or I think I have enough movement to actually just... No, oh, maybe not. What's his movement? Oh, I can go here. And then I won't technically be standing on the fire. I'll have to get close to it when I do it. And then he's just gonna, like, wail on it with his sword, because why not? See how this works out. I mean, he has advantage. Mm -hmm. uh, he's flanking. Well, no, he has advantage because of, gu of Guiding Bolt. Yeah, he has advantage because of Guiding Bolt. Uh, flanking is a very natural spell, though it adds a lot yeah. of fun. Well, also, he's a kobold. He has pack tactics. Oh, he does. Uh, let me see what that does real quick. I already have advantage. I think advantage can stack, technically. No, I think it gives five if you already have advantage. Because advantage can't stack. Oh, see, I've been stacking it in my campaign. Whoops. So... It's up to you, as it, like a DM. It yeah. hits either way. I guess it's this... Which, what? Which, in terms of, like, as a, as a character class... Why is oh, it rolling right? 10 equals 10? Kobold's got the better of the deal compared to like a Hobgoblin, because Hobgoblins like add damage, but they don't oh. uh, if they're a player. 1d10. Mm. He, he's using both his hands, but I'm going to have to re-roll this. Plus strength. Sorry, I did not put that in completely yet, so I'm going to have to roll the damage again. I think I can just yeah. click. Yes, I can. Oh, of course, it's 3. <laughs> he deals... And it's one, because it's half. Because <laughs> it's slashing. Uh, yeah. Kobold's uh, pack tactics. You have advantage on attack roll against a creature if at least one of your allies is within five feet of the creature and the ally is in incapacitated. Yeah, I know. I, I actually put it in my character sheet, so I read it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Which normal kobolds have. Unfortunately, if you're a hobgoblin character, instead of the uh, martial advantage they get, which they added to, I can understand why, because it'd be kind of overpowered. Because uh, hobgoblins uh, add 2d6 damage once Ooh. per turn if it hits someone that their allies are next to. If this was a bonus okay. action, I would be doing this, but it, it's a full yeah. action. <laughs> I mean, granted it's once per turn, but it's still, do two, it's still basically a sneak attack ad addition to it. Do I have anything that's a bonus action? I don't believe so. You can cry out and shout. Ye people of God! <laughs> yeah. I mean... Okay, I can't do anything else. I feel, I feel bad for hob Hobgoblins not getting that, but I can understand because... That would be really strong, especially early levels. Oh, someone's within five feet. I hit with the attack. I add 2d6 to it. So it's Donk's well, turn. What are you so trying to... So I don't to... do so well in that. What, uh, I what was were going you... to attempt to roll over here to the fire and grab a... Uh, uh, one of the flaming sticks and shove it into the shadow. It's a swarm of bats. I know you want to fight shadows. Huh? I oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said shadows. I've been saying swarm of bats. Oh. Um, I don't. I mean, that would technically work against a swarm of bats, anyways. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're still gonna do, try doing that. Well, if I can. You go to stand up, which is half your movement, and then you trip. Get that nat one. <laughs> Oh, I had a nat one? Yeah, that's oh, why it's red. <laughs> oh, I can't see red. It looks green to me. Oh, yeah. If you scroll over it. Oh, okay. So, see, see, am I still it says in the same square? Yeah, you're still in the same square. If you look okay. at your acrobatics, wow. there's a parenthesis six, and that's your bonus. Ouch. Ouch. Well, can I just try to throw one of my, uh, my axes at it? Yeah, if you use the rest of your movement to stand up again. <laughs> okay. Stand up, and I'll throw one axe 
but I don't know how that makes it different. It's the same damage. Okay. And it's the same. Uh, you use dex instead of strength because you're throwing it. Unless it's a versatile weapon. Which I... Uh, I don't think they are. I don't think they are either, but I'll check. No, they're not. Um, actually, with his hand axe, it's strength. So, oh, because it's oh. right, because it's a. You yeah. need the finesse property to use dex. Oh, that's what it is, finesse. Uh, okay, okay. Well, in that yeah. case, one second, and I will. Yeah, you just because basically you're just like softball, hard pitching it at it. And this damage is going to be half because it's a swarm of bats. So, yes, that hits. Sweet. Uh... So that'd be five. Oh, what do you know? Minus five equals zero. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, fall, get up, throw thing at it. I was sleeping! <laughs> Locks over, retrieves hand axe. <laughs> Walks back, falls asleep. Yep. Okay, so... And that's gonna be more experience. I don't agree with the um, difficulty of this creature, according to the uh, book, but whatever. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Sometimes things are made to be stronger. Like, technically speaking, I think... Uh, even when the designers said, like, Fireball's actually overpowered. Yeah. Well, I mean, level. it deals half damage when it gets to half or less, because it's, you know, a swarm. But it still has, you know, resistance to piercing slash and yeah, bludgeoning. Yeah, it's halved again. Which just makes it really hard math. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it, it deals half damage when it's at half health or less, because half the swarm is gone. Ah... But it's, yeah, you know, sense. it has resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. And if you're level mm -hmm. one, guess what most of your attacks are? Yep. Well, it's going to be Keftig's watch next. Uh, Alex, do we need to wrap it up? or? Actually, I could probably go for another hour. No, oh, nice. I don't go until uh, nine tomorrow. Oops. Okay. Um... Well, hopefully we'll have less encounters. <laughs> but there's no guarantee. Not with my luck. Is there anything? Well, let's see what an 18 is. Oh! Oh, yeah. So that's what versatile does. Yeah, it's one or two-handed. I don't know why I said versatile. Hmm. Huh. Some monsters have immunity or resistance to non-magical weapons, are susceptible to silver weapons. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Physical okay. creatures. So... For some reason, I... I shape shifters. Uh, I need to get more sleep sometime. For some reason, I was thinking, like, swarms and stuff, but... I, we will. I so, derped on there on that reading. Keftig notices a group of regular-sized badgers walk by and keep going. Good. They can smell the blood of fresh kill. <laughs> well, he tosses a few bats at them. <laughs> they take them with them. It's raining. <laughs> it's raining bats. Hallelujah. So that's uh, Keftig's watch. Now for Donk's watch. Okay, let me delete the yeah. swarm there. 63. Oh boy. <laughs> what is this? I swear, hmm. maybe I should start rolling in rule 20, because I swear I didn't put that in the favor of Keftig. Okay, well. Where's the battle encounter table? Yes. <laughs> it takes longer, though. 
page 22. That's okay. <laughs> okay. While I'm looking this up, make a perception roll. Oh no. Can do. Or it be perception or passive perception? Um, well, I, you're on watch, so you're actually, you know, technically okay. watching. I'm, I'm gonna assume you're in the tent. So I don't see shit. Wait, oh, uh, passive stand. Yeah. Okay, and technically dim light, so you would have had disadvantage on that. Uh, no, because he has dark vision. If it's normal, oh right, dim light. dark vision. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Um. Yeah. As what long as book it is this dark. In? What book is this in? I don't Hold know. On, I have to check. Nor normally, it, I, I would assume this would be in the Monster Manual, but apparently not. So, it's probably in Volo's uh, Guide to Monsters. One thing I want to say, I want, at some point I want to make a kobold fighter that's like this... He's trying to be an honorable knight. Okay. Mainly because I want to use the grovel, cower, and beg thing. So you just see this honorable knight just th fling himself on the floor to yes. distract the enemy. I have a premise for it, because uh, one of the uh, fighter subclasses that was released... Uh, let me see if I'm saying the name right. Oh, okay. Well, before I even look up the uh, bonus, you don't see it. Oh, no. That scares me. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Let the darkness attack. Darkness kills us all. Because uh, there's a subclass for fighter called the Purple Dragon Knight. Yes! So I wanted a kobold that actually thinks they're following a purple dragon, and the rest of them just don't have the heart to tell them there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we die by? Uh, what book is dinosaurs in? Oh no, it's in the DM's uh, book. Oh, the DM uh, guy. That's why. Uh, it, well, no, it's uh, no. Sorry, it is in the monster manual under dinosaurs. Yeah, I was looking for the specific dinosaur's name. That's probably why. Yeah, because it, yeah, it, uh, it has... It's a yeah, section on go. them, yeah. Um, well, you're going to get attacked by a velociraptor. Oh, God. Yes! Dance the velociraptors again! <laughs> Which, Boots I also happen. don't agree with this being one quarter, but whatever. They Yeah, they are a lot better in a pack. Um, and then I usually have an alpha that I boost these stats with. Well, yeah, but they're stronger than... <laughs> yeah. And then this is going to be at the end of the dinosaur well, section, of course. <laughs> oh, no, this one isn't in this. This one's in a different one. The Velociraptors aren't in there. Interesting. Yeah, I'll look it up on the website, Ed. Was using oh, yeah, yeah, I think I ended up using uh, T-Rexes and scaling them down. Well, no, this, like, I actually looked up things, and it's actually somewhere here. Okay. I'll just look up the dinosaur type if it's in, you know, okay. I am, I'm going to try to dominate this creature and make it my pet. It is in, it's in the Guide to Monsters on page 140, okay. But I'm not seeing it in the list. Oh, because I'm blind. All right, it's it's on the list. It doesn't want me to use it. <laughs> okay, what's its because movement? It Speed happens. thirty. Okay, so it comes into the light before it attacks you. I assume at that point you n notice it. it. Like once it hits the dim light, it's bright light for you. But oh yeah. But like you. You don't hear it so much as you notice the movement because the Velociraptors. I don't agree with yep. this movement, but at least it makes it balance. So um, let's see if I can find a Velociraptor. Oop. Well, apparently I'm not going first. No, it'll be going first. So I'll just not worry about moving it. Yeah. It's a bigger creature than that. Not dealing with it. <laughs> it's a... Well, it's a tiny beast. What? Yeah, it's tiny. How... Yeah, Velociraptors so... are small. Oh, right. It's the size of Keftig. You see a Keftig approaching. <laughs> but
but it has feathers for some reason. Oh, well, proto feathers, more feathery, like quills. It's a feathery kobold. It's a kobold covered in quills, and it doesn't look friendly. Peter quills? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, same actor, what? <laughs> <laughs> because science. Um, science. No, the show because science. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, I know. <laughs> but same actor. Um, mm -hmm. What's this thing's attack again? That I don't remember. Multi attack. It's claw and bite. Yep, it should have two or three. At it's least they're not as terrifying as. Uh, Pathfinder Velociraptors. Yeah. Uh, they had because uh, the Pathfinder one things that you'd well, want to get to out. I'm pretty sure which twenty is, hits. Uh, yeah. Which is a full attack on a charge. Oh snap! The second one's a crit. <laughs> and it had four attacks, so it could charge you at like 120 feet away and hit you four times. <laughs> so it bites you first. Okay. Uh, let's put a slash R in front of that. Yep. Not E. R. R. For five. You did not have time to okay. rage. And, uh, yeah. Not yet. And you also technically only have one still because it's not the end of the long rest. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, wait. No. You rested completely. Yeah. Because you're on the last watch. And then the second one is 2d4 plus 2, because it crit. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Are you still up? He's still up, barely. Oh, oh that's like why you're you laughing, have. Mr. Green Circle. <laughs> How many you have? Three. Yeah, he, he's... Okay. You have enough? And I then, uh, live. that enters initiative. Alright. Uh, I'll roll... I'll you probably heard the roll. whistling as the thing attacked, because it's a Velociraptor. Oh, hey, I didn't roll 8 for me. <laughs> One <five. laughs> no. oh, yeah. uh, Let me roll my initiative. That would have been funny, though, if it actually if I had. Ooh. Core. At that point, there's definitely ghosts in the system. Ah! <laughs> Did you say 8.15? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I just Alright, so, so this is a D20 plus two. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Um so Oh, this is going to go terribly for us. They're not crits? Uh, well, you should the see first the first one attack. Hit. Yeah, you should see if the first one knocks him out. Well, That's I roll okay. them both, and then I roll the damage just to... So I know that oh, I have yeah, the second one. <laughs> Please go, we'll go to one, then I'll hit you again. Yep. Oh, oh. Put the R, but not a slash, and I caught it before I hit enter. Alright. So, what's that do? Knocks you down to uh, one? One hit. Yeah, one hit on the first one, which is the bite, I think? Yes. Yep. Uh, and there's no way you're not gonna get knocked back out. Because it's a d4 Wait. plus two. Because it go you go down to one. Yeah. And then you get hit again, which means you go down. Wait, why do I get hit again? I have because 19 it, AC. His second oh, you have 19 AC, okay. So he misses yep. the second attack. And he's very confused. because, oh, And yeah. that's why he missed the second attack. Because he bit you and he's like, he's down! And then, uh, wait a minute, what? And now I'm smiling at it. Um, yeah, you have a crazy amount of decks and con. <laughs> and then it moves kind of... Hmm. Nah, it doesn't move. There's no point. And then Mr. Jones. So wait, what's his damage? The huh? You're at one what's HP. What's his damage? Okay. Because it was seven. Gotcha. Technically, there was no way it was gonna knock you down to one. Yep. 
Doo 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 doo. Uh, doo -doo. Yeah. So I use half my movement to get up, and then I run behind Dench. The meat shield that isn't looking so good. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, let and me put you actually at one. There we go. <laughs> I use my uh, last spell slot before my full rest takes effect. Hey. Okay. And I touch Dench and cast Cure Wounds. Yes. Four. Eight, eight points. <laughs> Though, however, <laughs> however, you have already gotten back up. So if you go back down to zero, you don't get back up unless you have a different feat. That's fair. It's well, once per can... battle. I think it's once. Because now I can drop my rage and be at half damage. I yeah, piercing and slashing. Yes, it would be. And then that's your whole turn, I assume. Unless you want to... Well, you probably can't move again after that. Yeah, you can't use this feature again until you finish long rest. Yeah. Let's see. So apparently there's one that... What the heck's a mark of fine... Oh, sorry, I'm looking at something else. So Keptig will move here. He will cast a spell. He has to be this close, unfortunately. Okay. A regular level. <laughs> so it makes a con save. Well, each creature within range, other than you. That can be heard up to each creature within range. Yeah, but it's a thunderclap, so you guys aren't being... Uh, and the actual range of the effect is five feet. It can be heard up to... Right, but I'm within five feet of the target. It sends out a... Which is fine. I can make each creature within save. range of the... Yeah, let me see if it's a cone or if it's just, like, a circle. Because it... I wrote down the description, but the description does not say... I'm going to say that I'm just going to move Keftig to... Burst is a... Uh, it's one square around from your... Uh, from your point of origin. From um, where you're targeting it. So, he's gonna, you're going to have to take it because he can't move far enough not to make you take no, it. No, that's fine. Uh, that's but... Fine. What's his base movement? Hold on. And you can't target right here? Because you have to be within five feet. I'm trying to change, see what my base movement is, so I can tell if I can move one square further or not. Speed is oh, I can't even get here. Oh. So instead, <laughs> I thought it was forty for some reason, but that doesn't make sense because I'm a kobold. I'm going to cast a different spell instead. Oh, that's interesting. And instead, cool. you gain another 7 HP. Okay. I can do that. And I have no spell slots. <laughs> but okay. hey, we're almost at the end of the long rest, so... Mm -hmm. And Donk, our meat shield. Good night, my angel. Now it's time to die. Aww. I think uh, I need to be 17. Uh, yeah, the first one hits. Oh, okay. For eight. Okay. Cool. This thing does not look so good because, you know. But it is its Fuck. turn again. Unless you want to, you know, try to disengage or something. <laughs> nope, I'm going to stand right here and take it, like a man. Alright, that hits. <coughs> Ooh. For six. Uh, oh, did you rage? But yeah. 
Yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I would be I'd be trashed. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, that one hits. Wolf. Okay. For three. Total. After the having. Perfect. I like how the die came up two with a bonus of four the first time, and then the second time it came up four with a bonus of two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mr. Jones. Alright. With your floppy so hat. Uh, so, uh... Wait, did you grab the hat, or did you not? I, I always have the hat. It's a free action to grab it. No, I mean, like, from, from your trinkets, did you actually choose a hat? I do believe so. All right, make if your... not, I bought one at some point. I'm sure you're making a ranged attack of some kind. Uh, actually, I would like... Uh, I uh, look at the rafter and you hear, like, the caw of a, uh, of a raven, and I would <clears> like it to make a wisdom save. Because I'm pulling the dead. Bong. Twenty. Bong. God. And that's a cantrip, so no damage. Yeah, no damage. Well, Note, it's not an at twenty. But I know. Uh Kefjig <laughs> is now going to move here. And then use the spell that he was going to use before, because it's a cantrip. Na, 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 na. Thunder. Na, 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 na. Thunder. Okay, so... That, that higher level cast doesn't matter until later, so... Uh, right. Three. But he has to make a DC con save first. DC 10 con save. See if he can get it. Dang it! Captain just looks over <laughs> at Mr. Jones. <laughs> I guess we can't do this today. I make a loud boom. <laughs> the rafter just like is literally just kneeling. <laughs> <laughs> Except when it's Donk swinging with actual weapons. <laughs> Speaking of Donk, as I'm still singing, "Good night, my angel." It's your go. Make that attack. <laughs> Alright. I hit it. And you <laughs> kill it with the first swing. Long <laughs> pass axe. It's, it's a lot more effective because... <laughs> it's super he effective. He doesn't need a... The raptor can't roll a saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the problem is. It can't roll a saving throw. <laughs> If you will not submit, you shall die. It it did die. Okay, yes. well. And then the uh, long rest finishes, so everybody's back up to full. <laughs>